Hello friends! It's time for another stitch story. Today I want to share one of my client's quilts that I finished on my long arm. It was such a delight to add the stitching designs to this beautiful fairy forest. Let's take a walk in the fairy forest. We've got these fun, whimsical trees and really cute houses that are just an imagination wonderland. And you can go sailing. Let's take a look at these trees. I've got a paisley design can see the different grass quilting there. Just some loops. Way up at the top, we have some scallops and some wandering leaves, some palm fronds. a big spiral and some other spiral leaves. The quilting stands out a little bit more on the back because I always match thread to the front. So here you can see the crazy quilting in the house and I just filled in the different shapes. I was following the fabric on a lot of it. Here you see the leaves in the tree and the pebble quilting from one of the other houses. And the doorway with some crazy fabric the spiral tree, pebbles in the lake. You can see the boat there and these fun paisleys. To start the paisley shape, we begin with a teardrop shape and I always start at the bottom and curve around counterclockwise and I connect back to my base and I add the curly Q tail. So teardrop first and then the curly Q tail and then I travel along that base line to create another paisley. I can go in the same direction. I can go in a brand new direction. So you want to practice in every direction, right and left, up and down. Now, you can start adding different elements to your paisley. You can fill it in with a double bubble there. The plain bubble looks kind of empty, so we can fill that up with other designs. We could do a little flame stitch in there. We could do some other fancy designs and then I'm trying to backtrack there to get the tail and get going the other way. So you could do all sorts of shapes to dress up your paisley. If you want to learn to stitch these designs, I've got a couple options for you. 
if you're within a day's drive of Phoenix, Arizona, please check the calendar at my local shop where I teach long arm techniques. Drop in for the day and get some hands-on practice. And if that's too far to drive, then look for long arm classes either in person near you or online. I have some recommendations in the video description below. When you sketch then stitch, your quilts will become wonderful treasures for generations to come. You can practice with a sketchbook at home and I will link to that video so you can watch those tutorials next. 